to the last Pio Pitch session of our fall semester. We are very, very excited to have you here today, and we have two great presenters that I know you're going to find really exciting. So with that, I am going to turn it over to Brianna, who will be introducing our first speaker. Our first presenter is Martha Jones. She is the owner of Faces by Design and founder of FBD, the Academy. Hello everybody and thank you for allowing me to be here. I started Faces by Design 18 years ago. I came uh, from Colombia, South America and believe it or not I was a mail order bride. It didn't work out <laughs> but it got me here and uh, when I got here I decided that I needed to start a business because I had had a child and I needed to be responsible for my kid. So I started doing what I know to do best. Two things, skincare. Uh, I have a degree on uh, paramedical skincare. That's a career that doesn't exist in the United States, but in South America, it's a two-year program that prepares people to work on the integrity and the health of the skin. We're not anti-aging, uh, and we're not gonna make you look 10 years younger, and it's not about makeup, it's about health. I added a new service, which I am really good about. It is called permanent makeup. And what it is, is a form of tattooing. And I tattoo eyebrows, eyeliner, and lip liner. So I've been doing this for over 30 years, and it has been a very successful business here in the United States. I am gonna be 50 within two weeks. And I have decided that my career has gotten to a new path, and that I need to start looking to a new moment in my life, a new purpose. And I decided that I am gonna go into education, and I have decided to start what we call FBD, the Academy. So this is where I am stuck. And this is the challenge that I need for you guys to help me. I'm looking for a team that is young, creative, very, very talented. I like crazy ideas. I am a person that likes to think outside the box. So I need a group of people that is willing to create a new corporate image for me that is gonna be young enough to target the market that I need to target, which is young people. This is a, a career that gives a lot of financial independence to whoever follows this path. So it's gonna be a person that is gonna be totally self-sufficient. I need a group that it helped me to put my business, my idea, my way of thinking, and my goals in the digital media. I am 50 years old. I don't know anything about Twitter, Instagram, whatever, you Snapchat and all these things. And of course, uh, Facebook is a very strong tool, but I am 50 years old. I don't know what the tools are out there to capture new market, new young students. So I need somebody that is willing to put that package together, a corporate presence that is going to be impacting, that is going to be strong, that is going to be credible, that is gonna be sassy, talented, that is gonna be very modern, very elegant, and that is going to represent what I believe in. I believe that women are capable of developing their own future. I believe in education. I believe that one skill, if you develop one single skill in a wonderful way, that is your way to live. So I am the typical example that if you love what you do, you will never go to work one day of your life. So um, if somebody is willing to put a group of ideas, a package, and present it to me, I'll be thrilled because I am stuck. And plus I have a lot of work responsibilities with my current business, so I need uh, help. So that's what I need. I hope this is a challenge for you guys and that you can help us out and bring a lot of cool things to the table. 
So um, I think you have a really great, like what you're asking for is really great and I think it's really complete this package that you're looking for. So you may consider speaking to some of our business and economics faculty to see if some of our marketing students or our management students who are looking for a capstone project may be willing to help you and potentially work closely with you to develop that idea and get a more inclusive concept. So I'm not saying they'll work pro bono, but it's for <laughs> college credit. So I had the opportunity to work with Marietta College before and I have a group of students that developed of the corporate image for faces by design the first time and when they did the presentation I gotta tell you something they did the whole analysis I sobbed and cried the whole presentation because they did a beautiful job so I have a huge faith in all the students and all the creative ideas because the first time it was a great 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 experience it was awesome my first question was internships and I know pro bono sounds uh, a really hard word. <laughs> you won't have a lot of benefits, but you can get facials and chemical peels done if you want to. <laughs> I like the trade. That's the way the world works nowadays. So I'm um, welcome to interns, people that wants to come and talk to me and see, okay, what do you need and how can I help you? And we can definitely um, cooperate with uh, your experience at the college. I direct the Career Center here at Marietta College, and I'm happy to work with you on finding interns, and I wanted to make you aware that we do have a, a grant program where we could actually help cover the costs and potentially pay your intern. Oh, that would be great. So um, students, it. if you're interested in, in Martha's project, please see me, because there's, there's some eligibility that the students have to meet in order to participate in the grant, and once I get interested students, then I can certainly forward their resumes to you and we could try to make this happen. I think showing that, you t like videos of that, how much you enjoy it, what you do on Faces by Design's website and stuff, mm -hmm. or on that site will maybe help encourage women to, to go in that field. Maybe if you can have a connection with a career center, like um, Washington County Career Center mm -hmm. or something, to get high school girls involved in your program? The Career Center is very independent and it's also through the school. So the girls go to the Career Center, but we are trying to invite them to do the aesthetics part on our academy and do internships too through Faces by Design, the academy. Do you elaborate on like some of the services you offer at Faces by Design? If you explore a page, there's always an explanation of all the services. However, I have a completely different view of about a skincare. There's no cookie cutters when it comes to skincare. Every person is individual, so we customize everything that we do to your specific needs. We explain everything that we do, but we don't put a price on a service because everybody's unique. So your needs are specific. If you go to the website, you will find everything. I am looking right now for interns. Uh, when it comes to what I'm doing right now, I need for somebody to be uh, working on our corporate image. How I am going to put my company outside to the public and how can I make this company present in the digital media? That's what I want. I want the cyberspace. I want where kids are, where young people is researching which is the websites that you guys research every day. I don't have those resources because I am on a different page of my life. So that's what I need somebody younger that is looking into this market to see where can I take my life or where can I find new career options. I'm gonna be 50 in two months. And I'd say I've, I've watched Jeopardy almost every night and your, your company is like one of the companies I'm most familiar with like the last however many years because I see your commercials all the time. And so as, as you were to, um, describing what you're considering like your new challenge, I was curious, is this simply that you're trying to grow the market share, you're trying to reach out di different means of communication, or if you get new different types of customers, are there certain services that you would expect to grow additionally? I mean, like, what, tell you what's the, what what's the purpose? The... Right now, my purpose is education because I need to pass my trades down. I am very good at what I, I do. I am excellent at, at training and teaching. With knowing that I only have probably another 10 years of capabilities for my career, when you turn 50, you start challenging yourself and thinking, what if I get sick? What if, uh, what if my husband retires? What if my, there's so many what ifs. So uh, right now, I'm just looking to pass my, tar my torch down, my legacy, and be able to empower and generate a new group of women or men that want to develop a very self-sufficient, lucrative, independent career. I am not teaching you how to do permanent makeup. 
I'm teaching you how to create a business doing permanent makeup perfect. So it is different when you tr learn a trade. Everybody can milk a cow, but not everybody knows how to sell the milk. We need to understand that I am not giving you a trade, a, a skill. I'm giving you the opportunity to own your own business. And that's what I want to pass down. Because at one point, I won't be able. What are my views? Maybe somebody wants to buy my business. Maybe I franchise my business. Maybe I just, you know, pass it down to my daughter and she can manage the whole business herself. So the possibilities are huge, but I need to, to start educating a group of people so they can follow my legacy. FBD the Academy opened last year in the spring. We started with our permanent makeup training. We have done three classes so far. So we have three groups that have graduated as permanent makeup technicians. I am very selective and I don't want to flood the market either. I think I only have about eight technicians out that are effectively working. Out of those technicians, three work at Faces by Design. And we have a special program where they can develop their business at Faces by Design under our tutorial, but they have an independent business. So they have their own website. That the only thing that they use is our room. But other than that, it's their business. I educate them, and they have, um, they have to spend time with us so they know what the behind the scenes of the business is. Marketing, paying your bills, how much is it going to cost me to have my supplies, how do I manage my filing, my medical information, privacy issues. All these things are being taught to the girls that are doing the internship with us. So, and these are girls that did the permanent makeup training and they're now moving into the aesthetics career, which is a six months program. The permanent makeup is only a week. Basically people said, oh, I would love to learn to do permanent makeup. So I have technicians that have worked with me for many years, so I gave them the training. And then we have people that is just interested in starting their own business. Ultimately, the main goal that I have is to franchise. That will be my dream. We just take one step at a time. And I think education is the foundation for a good franchise. If you have a good teaching training program for any company, your company will thrive. Where is the closest schooling that's doing any of the similar type of training well, that you're doing? Well, one is Preston's Academy, and the other one is uh, Artisan School in Parkersburg, which just now opened in Marietta. There is a big difference. Preston's Academy, there are training cosmetologists. They don't have a, a very specific esthetician program. Neither does Artisan, because everybody goes into cosmetology. So my program, what makes me different is that we are a unique a specific program for medical skin care. So instead of training girls how to do facials, I am training my girls to work at the same level of a med medical practice. So they can go to a plastic surgeon, they can go to a dermatologist, or they can have their own independent practice. It is different, it is a longer program, it's a lot more intense, and we touch on topics that are deeper and a lot more intense than what we you will learn at the cosmetology school. So we definitely are at a different level. And at that level, the closest academies are probably Columbus, Akron. We are very different when it comes on times and schedules and prices. There's nothing around this area in the Mid-Ohio Valley that has a specific skincare school. About how old would you say like the vast majority of your students are? It depends. There's girls that want to do the class, but when it comes to the student selection, when it comes to picking the right individual, we have to be very selective because I don't want to just recruit everybody in the book and end up with a very short, a very little group that is going to follow up with the education. So I'd rather pick somebody between 25 to their 45 years old that are independent. They have limitations when it comes to education. The advantage of this school is that it's a part-time schooling. So you only come half part-time and you get a full career within six months and you can start working right away. Even if you do it independent or if you find yourself a job on a salon, a spa, medical practice. So the possibilities are very good. But I like to, to recruit somebody between 25 to 45 years old. The problem that we have is, and I am a believer in learning a skill. I, I believe to learn to work with your hands and that skill will take you places. That's what I believe. So this is a hands-on job. It's a, a job that is dedicated to touch. Targeting the high school girls is great. Targeting that kind of market is important, but I've never explored that market because I'm out of touch. 
I, I, I don't know how to get to the schools. I don't know how to get to, to them. I can reach my 25 to 45 because I have my, my database on my customer client database. And I have my Facebook page, which is very uh, specific to a group uh, age. And, but to reach high schoolers, I, that's where I'm lacking. And that's what I need to go. You graduate from school, you go to college, and then halfway to college, you decide, oh, maybe I want to change my major. And then, oh, maybe I want to change my major again. And at the end of the day, you decide, uh, this is what happened to me. My mom wanted me to go to school, and I have a degree in social communication and journalism with a master's in graphic design. And then I graduated and said my mom, mom, I want to go to beauty school. And that was bad. My mom was so mad. So with that being said, this is that place where you st people start kind of veering and teetering with, where am I going to go? What do I want to do with my life? And, and you find out that you're better with touching, and you're better with customer service, and you're better with talking with people, and, and serving to people that probably being stuck behind a computer, or a book, or a research center. This is a market that is very uh, popular because it's a time where girls make a lot of decisions. Uh, like I said, I'm out of touch. I haven't reached out. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to start. I don't know how to present it. I don't know how to target parents to tell them, hey, your daughter wants to be an esthetician and it's going to cost you this amount of money. So um, I don't know how to support to the parent, oh, let your daughter go to be an esthetician because she's going to be able to make this amount of money if she sits in her room and she does three faces a day. This is the kind of things that I need put together in a whole package so I can go with a very complete presentation and say, listen, this is what I have and this is what I can offer to you. My goal is that once we create a corporate image and a marketing plan and everything that hopefully I can get out of you guys, I can have an open house where I can bring parents and ladies and everybody that is interested in taking on a new career and present all the research and all the little things that you guys have created for me. I'm just thinking, I would be afraid of if doing your research and getting into this at your age and stuff that I hope it just, the expenditures of it doesn't drain your, your business. My funding? Yeah. Well, there's nothing to drain. We have zero cash. Yeah. And I'm not saying that there's no funding available. At, at the moment of need, the cash shows up. Well, I am a great believer in God over everything, and I believe that he's taking care of everything. But first, I need to know what am I doing? How am I going to do it? How much is it going to cost me? You know, I, I just need to have a, a general idea. It's like, what is it that I have to do? I don't have that plan on my head. I don't have that vision. A, because I'm super busy with my practice. B, because I don't know where to start or how to start. Have you, I know a lot of high schools do like college fairs where colleges come in and then they have a representative so if students are interested they can come and talk to them so maybe if you could somehow get your academy yep. to show up in there that would be one way to get your name out there at local high schools. Yeah, we thought about that and that's in the making and in the plan but I don't even have a brochure. I need to have a brochure created. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You know, how can I, I need somebody to bring me my brochure. I said, okay, this is what we're gonna put on your brochure. You can have a signing card. This is what we need to put on your website. That's the kind of, of forms and figures that I wanted to develop. But I think it's such a good experience for anybody to be able to work hands on on a practice and see the nitty gritty of the reality of businesses, where there's sweat, tears, joy, laughter, cuss words, anxiety, stress, everything that it takes into a business needs to be learned. Our, our next presenters are gonna be Sarah Myers and Bill Greiser, and Bill is the founder and the owner of the Greiser Castle. Hello, I'm Bill Greiser. Um, thank you, college, for letting me come here and talk. Thank you for showing up. As you can see, we're building a castle. And just so you know, from the Career Center, I did have four boys come out there on and off for the past couple years. It was in masonry trades, which I took masonry trades back in um, 82 and 83. And this was a dream I had when I was eight years old. I saw Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Did anybody ever see that? Sorry. OK. After I got done seeing that, well, not after I got done, as it was going on, I told my mom, I didn't want the flying car. I said, I want that castle. And she said, you can't have that castle. I was eight years old, and I said, Mom, I want that castle. She goes, honey, you can't have that ca castle. It belongs to Germany. It's theirs. But she told me something that every parent tells everybody, tells her kids. 
and I thought it was just a bunch of nonsense. Study hard, get good grades in school, and save your money, and you can build that castle. This has been my dream since I was eight years old. The first house, my wife and I, where we live now, I told her when we got married, I would treat her like a queen, build her a castle. <laughs> then we, we have a farm, we have 80 acres, and I thought, you know what? I'd like to share this with other people. I'd like to have a spot where people could come and get married. That's right, and it would be affordable. It would be affordable where you can get married in a castle and you can have an event at a castle. You could have a graduation party or you could have princess parties or a prince party or just, you know, that, that was my dream was to be able to share it with the community. And I've, I've been the past uh, two years working and building on this and it's taken us a long time because I've done it all with all my cash that I'd worked for. I started my own business when I was uh, 21. It's modern pest control. And again, I had saved and saved and saved and saved my money. And I remember my mom was so mad because when I was 18, I didn't go to the prom. She had $200 for me. And she's like, Billy, here's this. It's for the tux. It's for all this and all this. And I said, can I spend it how I want? And she said, yes. I bought 400 concrete block. <laughs> they were 50 cents a piece. And I just had them on the pallets. And I would just stack them. And I would just store. And I'd just store. And I'd be driving down the road. And they'd be tearing down a house. Or they'd be doing something. Sir, can I have those concrete blocks? I'll clean all this mess up if I can have those blocks. And I just kept saving in a pile. And I'd go down and count them and think, I've got 1,000 blocks. i got 2,000 blocks. i got 4,000 blocks. We've already laid about 46,000 blocks. And we've got about three more thousand to, to go on the front gatehouse. We've left the front open so we can back in and uh, pour all of our concrete and stamp our floors. But my goal is, one, what I'd like to ask you guys is, I do not do anything on computers. The closest, this is the only computer I have is on my side here, and I do know how to use eBay, but I don't know anything else, and I would like to, somehow I've got to get it to where I can have, um, I did go to Parkersburg to a bridal um, wedding ex extravaganza, and all I did was just show people my cell phone, and I was like, hey, if you got married, would you like to get married in this castle? And they was like, oh yes, absolutely, is it open? And I had 40 women that, absolutely said they wanted to get married. I had mothers that would come over to me and they'd be like, um, how about, um, wh when will it be up? When will it be up? We could just cancel. How much is it going to cost? And I was like, I'm not ready for all that yet. I, and then I had a guy contact me. Has anybody ever played the game Dungeons and Dragons? I had a person contact me and he said, yeah, that'd be awesome, dude. Do you do anything like that out there? He goes, can we do reenactments? Can we come out there and do this and do this and do this? And I was like, but I said, we're not open yet. He goes, just let me come out. I said, you can come out and take a look at the place. And he goes, I'd like to do the layout. And, and I'd like to do this and tell you what I'd like.